All right, everybody, what I have here uh, is some night vision. Uh, that Ultimate Night Vision uh, has for sale right now. And they have a few. There's probably going to be a limited run on these. And they're Anvis 9s. These are flight goggles. Got the helmet here. Also have the battery pack over here. But I just want to talk real quick about this. I just got my hands on these jokers like two days ago and haven't even used them in the field yet. Uh, these are trade-ins, okay? These are not like your Glock trade-ins. Uh, these were traded into uh, a reputable company. They inspect them, and if they require rebuilding, they will rebuild them, and we'll get them back in the market. And that's how Ultimate Night Vision was able to acquire them and get them to you guys. The cool thing about these, they're cheap, <laughs> all right? They're cheap. Uh, brand new MSRP, you're probably looking about $9,000. Uh, if you go to Ultimate Night Vision's website, you will see these for $4,495. If you go to my Instagram, you will see there's a way you can get it for $4,000 even, okay? Uh, Ultimate Night Vision did upgrade the lenses on these with Anvis. Uh, they're in great shape. These things here, the ones I'm holding here, show nowhere whatsoever. I'm not sure what the next uh, set will look like or the ones 20 from here will look like. Uh, but these are basically brand new. Um, me personally, just looking through it the first time last night at night, the tubes are clear. Can I compare them to the PVS 31s or to the DTNVGs? No, but these are really great for that $4,500 to $4,000 range. This is a steal. Now, a lot of people are going to bring up, okay, well, how rigid are they? You know, how can they? Uh, handle the use on the ground because these are used in helicopters and planes more than likely law enforcement search and rescue was using these uh, and uh, they, they did everything they could to take care of them I don't mean I can't see those guys wanting to damage uh, their their night vision uh, but they are uh, I'm not gonna say they are they're known for breaking right here on the bridge okay that's the part that holds your tubes to the mount this is like a real uh, thin polymer plastic, and uh, they have a tendency of breaking here if you drop them or run into something. Uh, there is a way that you can upgrade these and make them a little bit stronger. It's kind of like a bracket that goes over the top. Uh, but if you want to, you could just bump up to the RNVG's uh, aluminum uh, bridge. You can step up to that. But for $4,000, you can't beat what's going on right here. I don't really see too many people throwing their helmets around and uh, running right into a tree and uh, damaging the bridge for the Anvis 9s. For $4,000, you can't beat what I'm holding right here. Uh, but I haven't even used them yet. So I'm going to take them out in the field tonight. The sun is setting. I'm going to take them out and use them for a week. And uh, I would do a follow-up on these uh, Anvis 9s and let you know how they work out. I think it's a deal. You know, you look around and you see what else is available out there in the market and it's really hard to touch anything in that five thousand dollar range it's just it's unheard of so uh get it while you can <laughs> get it while you can but i'll keep you guys posted and uh, we'll hunt with it for a week and i'll follow up with you guys okay it's a week later with the anvis nines and look they're still intact <laughs> they're still intact uh if you follow me on the gram you know what i'm talking about i'm i'm pretty hard on equipment and unfortunately sometimes things do get damaged uh, used and abused, but uh, that's kind of what I do. I like to use the equipment and let people know how it works out. I think it's a great buy. I think it's a great buy. Uh, there's there's a few folks out there that don't want to drop eight to twelve, fifteen thousand dollars on some nods. Uh, it's a very very big investment. I think uh, you know forty five hundred dollars is a big investment as well. Four thousand uh, dollars is a big investment, but. Uh, you you want to get what you pay for and that's exactly what you're doing right here you're getting exactly what you're paying for uh the anvis nines are great okay uh if you're going to do this i would upgrade the anvis lenses here uh, i think that would be a great option to do uh here later on at the end of the video i will show you guys some footage through it i think the clarity is pretty good for what you're getting uh i i can't compare it to the white phosphorus uh, RNVGs or the GTNVGs and the 31s, uh, but it is really great. This isn't like a, a, a Gen 1 uh, piece of crap that you can just get from Cabela's. I mean, this is legit stuff. Um, 
I got some trees behind me that are out about um, exactly 300 yards and I had some cattle out there and I was able to watch them move around just fine, no issue. So visibility is really good up close and out far. I will show you guys that in the video here towards the end. Uh, you know, the ruggedness was one thing that I was really concerned about. I talked with Tyler over at Ultimate Night Vision. I said, hey, don't be upset if these things get broken. Uh, and, and, and the reason I brought that up is because I have my headset usually up uh, when I'm getting in and out of the Can-Am and my rooftop is right there. It's a metal roll cage. And every once in a while with the, with the DT and VGs or the 31s, I'll, I'll hit it. And I was always concerned about creating some type of stress fracture or something like that on this mount. And, and that never happened. And I did bump these things. I didn't drop them, uh, but I did bump them a few times with no issue. So it, it held up to my use. And I think it will hold up to anybody else that's going to use it. I just don't see anybody grabbing their helmet and just throwing it in the back of their truck or in their bed and just letting it bounce around. Uh, that's where I think you're going to see the damage. If you're going to spend this much money on some nods, I'm pretty positive you guys are going to take care of them. So I think it's going to handle that. But again, if you're going to get into this, I think the Anvis lenses is the best upgrade that you can do for this because it will help out a little bit with the, uh, with the clarity. Uh, but guys, again, you know, for $4,000, $4,500, you can't beat this. This is, this is a deal. Uh, this is a deal right here. Now, I know there's some guys out there that's going to snub it. Oh, man, I just don't think I can do it. I don't think I can run Anvis 9s. I want something a little bit more rugged. But we got an answer for that as well. Anvis 9s we're putting down right here. And now we have the RNVGs, okay? Uh, even with the Anvis 9s, you can upgrade to this housing here or to this mount. Uh, this is aluminum, okay? And it, it's, it's way more rigid than the Anvis 9s. But you're looking at, uh, you're looking at about $7,000. Uh, for the RNVG, so there is a big difference uh, in, in the price, but these things are cool too. They're really nice. Uh, they're a little bit heavier, okay? They are heavier than the Anvis 9s. That's one thing that I did enjoy about the Anvis 9s is the weight. They're lightweight, so, uh, you know, this is another option for the guys that just refuse to jump on the Anvis 9s, <laughs> but you're not going to beat this price, guys. Uh, you're not, you know, we all know how much these things can cost. And Ultimate Night Vision has a limited run on these right now. Again, if you follow me on Instagram, you know exactly how to get these for $4,000. If you don't pay attention to that, you will pay $4,500 for these. So if you guys like what you see, please like, subscribe. And uh, again, at the end of this video, I will show you guys the footage through the Anvis 9 so you guys can see exactly how clear they are and uh, see that they are worth it. You know, they're, they're definitely worth the buy. So I had a good time hunting with them. They're great. I think it's a good buy. All right, folks, what you're looking at right now are the Anvis 9s. These are available through Ultimate Night Vision. In the middle of the screen, you see two trees. That's about 300 yards away. Those are cows. To the left, they get a little bit smaller. They range anywhere from 500 to 600 yards away. No moon. Heavy overcast. We've got some storms coming in from the south and the north, so there's no moon right now. Just just real heavy overcast. And we've got the Can-Am in my truck about uh, 15 yards away. Let me get the trailer in focus here.